I'm telling you, she would not have walked away from that being like, let's <laughs> fucking cross the Atlantic with this knobhead. <laughs> like, not happening. Just poor. <laughs> right. So, should we move to giving it stars? Oh, <laughs> let's go. Hi and welcome to the five star movie review of the film and some are if you want to check out an in-depth analysis please go check out the long podcast but this is just the bit where we take all the all the categories that we've kind of marked this film on and give it a rating out of five it goes up to 25 stars I'm Matt I'm Adele and this is Midsommar if you ready to go yes cool so let's talk about the world building um I mean t- this was one of the stronger categories for me I don't know if you agree <laughs> Just because I thought the early parts of it was quite interesting. And, like, um, there was efficient bits of introductions. Mm. It was just the development was that poor. But world building for me as well comes down to the, you know, the the way you're, you're first taken into it. Yeah. Like, it had a great intro. It set everything up really. Like it, it did set everything up really well. It did look. And it did. It's a very specific like the, look. The cult itself, like the, the Swedish guys, like you believed them and their whole deal and like where they were. Like you kind of got drawn into that. So like maybe I'm being a bit harsh. I, I initially gave it a one. Yeah. No, I'm definitely. I, I think that's unfair. I, I think it does build, <laughs> you know, you learn locations, you know, people you there there's kind of there's still visual literacy and there's still kind of like the production design is interest you know it's not it's not like deserving of massive credit but uh, you know the costumes were hand sewn there's the weird white vibe versus oh what did you give it i gave it three yeah i think i i, think I can agree with that yeah after having gone through it well we'll see yeah. we'll, we'll give it a three for now provisionally we'll give it a preemptive three because we I'm don't want to be totally mean it. and i also want to credit yeah all, i don't want to be either as, as much as i didn't like it like i don't, I don't want to just oh, i suppose also I you do it for like you do last. build the, you believe they're students you believe they're kind of touristy vibes you believe the small talk like you believe the more real characters because they are a bit of a dick but then they're also not mm-hmm. like you but know i mean cause... like beyond the direction like it, it's it's like the, all those other situations which are good, like the the dress is good, the the location's good, the way that you know, like the way the the actual camp fight sites set out, like with the weird temple in the nook of the river mm. and stuff. Like, yeah, okay. there's better elements to that. That's why I wanted to give some credit to world building. Okay. Before I kind of got a little bit harsher. Oh, see, I kind of this is some of the best rating that I gave it for cacting. I gave it a three and a half stars. I've got two. Um, I like Florence Pugh. Yeah, I thought that's, that's the main else. reason why I get it at three and a half. Because like I feel like if she had this level of acting in another film, I, th- I reckon it'd be Oscar worthy. Possibly. What did? You, yeah, you might be right. I think you're right. I, what did you think of? It was everyone else though. Like I didn't. I like Chidi. I didn't like his character. <laughs> I didn't like. I felt like they misused Will Poulter. Like they just didn't know what to do with him because. He's the comic relief, but how much do you use him? And when they did use him, it was kind of under the surface comic relief, so that distracts you more. If someone says a joke in the course of a film when you see them, that's fine. But if you hear a joke in the background from a character in a film, that takes you out of the film, to my mind. Like, mm. It's just... I, I think I can maybe... What, what do you say to two and a half to give her credit? Actually, no, I can move up to three if you want. But see, I, just... I was going to... Just just with like the points that you've brought up there, I think that's more to do with the writing than it is with the acting. And we usually put the writing within the world building in terms of like the offhand stuff and the stuff that you didn't like about like what you just said then. So possibly bringing the world building down to a two and a half, but then keeping the acting about three, two or three. I'm happy giving them both two and a half. I'm say, happy with that. Say two and a half each. Because there wasn't enough for Pew to kind of do to really boost this. Up I definitely any, think like other characters did. could have done more. Like yeah, I especially even the, especially the even the Swedes like Pella. I didn't like him that much. I don't. He know could have been you. a more. He could have been more creepy. He, he could, could have been, been a more bit. You know, there could have been a, cu- a few or more, more shots. Oh he should yeah, have been yeah, one of the directions, not just an average dude. Yeah, like, he was just kind of like a bit of a boring guy who had a crush on her. <laughs> and that's the <laughs> yeah, and that's the thing. Like usually, uh, uh, is that the point? Because like in films, usually they'd be either one or the other because mm. that's the kind of character they are it builds to whereas he's just made someone who's normal who then has this underlying thing so it's like is that the point but then I it's don't still so. shit it's still shit that's the <laughs> problem like it doesn't knock you on your feet and it's not like because you can still believe also, you it anyway know. 
<laughs> or you should know that you shouldn't know on purpose. Do you know when films deliberately build in some mystery? Yeah. You know when that's a thing as well. That wasn't here. There yeah. was no like deliberate ob- like being obtuse. Even the last shot, the very last shot tells you what happened at the end. He didn't try and do anything clever. He was just like, she smiled. She happy here. She stay now. <laughs> she, happy here. she stay. <laughs> she village bitch. <laughs> Okay, so two and a half. Yeah, so and two. we've knocked down World Bill to two and a half as well. Uh huh. Directing. Uh, okay. Oh, now <sighs> initially I gave it a two. Uh huh. Because I thought the cinematography was pretty good, and that's usually what we kind of put in there. Yeah. Um. But I just, I just didn't like it. <laughs> Do you want? To, I I had two first. I uh, oh, okay. I, I but I used two as a starting off point. I could. There were bits I liked. There were, like you're saying, the cinematography was was quite nice. There were quite a few shots that I like specifically wrote down that I liked, plus camera transitions. I was going to say the couple of transitions are what making me think one and a half, maybe. I don't want to oh. give him a one because I don't want to be a total dick. <laughs> and you know, there were. Bits. Wait, I thought you said he gave it a two first. I did give it a two. Yeah. Oh, oh, but you want to knock like, it down? I want to knock it down. Yeah. Because I. Yeah, I'm fine with that. <laughs> I'm fine with that. <laughs> One and a half or one, then? Uh, wait, are there any other points to talk about it, though? Okay, wait, let me think. Did you like the, you know, Gaussian blur stuff? Hmm. When they did the cliff thing, the audio went like it was underwater. There was little bits of, you know... there was, there was The one thing I did quite like as well is there was quite a lot of natural scene light. Do you know, like, when they, whenever they were inside? Hmm. They would, would, like, there was a couple of moments inside that thing, like, it was dark inside. They were just using the lights in there. And I thought yeah. that was kind of interesting and also kind of bad. Because you do it the whole time or you don't do it at all again to me. Like, it's either fully, you know, you're going with a natural lit thing or you're not. I don't think it's enough to bring it up. And I'm very happy to knock it down to a one and a half. One and a half. I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll happily give it that. I don't think we're being mean. And That's the... Yeah. That, I think we're still being quite lenient. Yep. Genuinely. We could definitely what? be harsher. What? <laughs> I'll make, when we, we'll review th- it when I, we go through the other ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see its final score. But I think <clears throat> I think purely off that bathroom transition, the tree stuff not being terrible, and like you're saying, the cinematography. I yeah, can but see that, one that and a half. five seconds isn't worth... A half and, a star. Well, a no, a just compared to... Yeah, exactly. Two and a half hours of runtime. Like, I can't stay around for two and a half hours um, for, for five seconds, no matter about that other shot that we, we, we both liked. Considering there wasn't that much... What did you think about the fact that a lot of the deaths happened off screen? Like, did you understand yeah. that they happened? Did you think he conveyed yeah. that well enough? Not the, not the one with Mark. Uh, no, not very well. That's not a good point. Even the leg in the thing, I was just like, what? The two, yeah, that the, came the two out English of nowhere. people made sense. It was like, okay. But then everything else was a bit weird. So yeah, yeah. one and a half. That seems fair. He'd kind of got some bits of it good, but most of it kind of me. See, I don't Do you want to go on now? Yeah, I do. Because it wasn't even him. He wasn't the one controlling the camera. All the other bits, <laughs> they were other people. Right, they we're weren't going, him with his we're going directing. One. He wasted our Fuck time. Fuck him. He's, going, <laughs> He's going, one. going one. He's lucky it's not getting zero. Right. Edit. Edit. <laughs> I, think I, I initially gave too. it a one. <laughs> I, I had two in there, but I did. You, what, what? <laughs> Um, I like, I think they did some good stuff with the editing of time. I think there was some good longer shots with the awkwardness and her on the phone. The, what do you think of the score? It was pretty subtle. Yeah, like I mentioned before, like I quite like the way that they use the sound of the choir and like singing and stuff. Again, not it enough to It was just to too slow though, it wasn't it? One and a half? I'm still inclined to keep it at a one. <laughs> especially, actually, especially since you brought up the fact that they only decided the drug trip effects and a week before it was supposed to be finished you know what yeah we'll take one i don't know why i'm trying to bring it up i hated this fucking film it was a pissed off waste of my time one. Oh man all right legacy this is challenging this is we've got to kind of be a bit more open-minded here i feel like no nah, i gave it a one <laughs> see i give definitely don't one. think we can give it a one why He's because we're fu- having so much of a strong opinion of the film no because in, in so the le- question of legacy whether it's going to hold up is outside of us like that's a bigger question that's like a cinema history question and I think our our opinions notwithstanding, he's getting a lot of hype. It's his first two films. It looks like he might be kind of like the fu- he's the future of Hollywood directing. Who no. name <laughs> another director? A horror director? You can't think of one. Scott Derrickson. But he's like sixty. I don't care. <laughs> Sam Raimi even. Sam, he's coming back into yeah, the picture. I know, but I mean like young. There's no one coming up. Do you know what I mean? Like this is why I think it has to. Uh. You have to think that he's gonna be a figure who we're used to seeing. Unless he has like a Josh Trank thing happen and he just dies but 
<laughs> I, I think it's got to be at least two stars just based off oh, okay. based off i think it might even have to be higher because of the way critics I, are going for it and the way horror has horror in jaws as well better than other genres like drama political stuff that doesn't last as well as horror does the only thing is that i like, i think possibly him as a person mm -hmm. might be a three but the film can't get to a three it has to be like a two but again that's the film's what's really well reviewed as well like both even with it that the reason he's highly regarded as a person is because reviewers are like of, you know reacting very well to his material like even if we didn't like it this film still and like you said about the box office it still did quite well yeah, it's yeah. doing all right on streaming at this point i imagine i'm just trying to find something to, <laughs> to, to, to argue against my point i really don't want i'm to trying to be I, this is the thing that i we, know you try we to have to fair. set up legacy as a running thing and legacy is outside of us we can't it's not personal opinion it's the film in the grand scheme of cinema like how does it hang on it's not huge it's nothing over a three it's not like you know a must fucking watch for young directors and it's not going to be like gets like a second life i don't think i just don't think it's i'm not it. happy with this but what about a two and a half yeah fine i'll take that that seems like a fair negotiation <laughs> I, I, it fucking is from a one <laughs> yeah that's what i mean well again it's what the category is though like i can I, I think you weren't thinking so much as like the outside of the outside of ourselves attitude mm. so wait let's add it up i know i'm too Four clouded and a half, but I... six seven nine and a half it's not very well i think it's <laughs> nine and a half out of ten but you can I'm check i'm gonna double check five I'm, I'm six sure seven right. nine and a half nine yeah. and a half is correct parasite our last film when the first film that went through this test got 23 and a half <laughs> so you can very <laughs> clearly see the difference yeah I... by four What's oh you know what percent? i 36 did... I, I had the full intentions percent. <laughs> so that's I had a full intentions film. of trying to like be unbiased about it, but it pissed me off yeah. so much. I tried to get through my anger in the discussion bit, you so I could be well. objective in this bit. Like I just submit right. hereditary again, but turn the fucking ISO up. <laughs> 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 like <laughs> what the fuck? All right, so nine and a half out of twenty-five. You know what? That's more than it on deserved. The film review. Yeah. So, you know, congratulations, you almost made double digits, Ariasta. I don't see us doing a film for a you while. You technically got nearly... double digits with the 9.5. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. I can't see us doing a film for a while that we're going to dislike as much as this, though. No. It's going to be bottom of our league table for a while. Yeah, and I hope it stays there. Yeah, it deserves it. Yeah. It's a waste of our time. We've really open-minded went into this. I want to make that clear. Like, we watched Hereditary, <laughs> we hated it. We've talked for months about this film, and we've not watched it because we were like, no, I'm not in the right mood right now. Like, I really want to give this film a chance. Yeah. We were in the right mood, and within 15 minutes, we were like, yeah, we were right. He's shit. <laughs> okay, so that was uh, the five-star movie review of Midsommar. Let us know what you think. Do you agree? Do you disagree uh, on this one? I probably don't care what your opinion is because I hate the film that much. Dill? Mm -hmm. Yeah, your opinion is only valid if you also thought it was shit. That goes out to the world. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so <laughs> if you want to listen to the whole in-depth review, please listen to the full podcast. You can watch it here on YouTube or you can listen to it on Spotify. You can follow it there. Or if you just want to have a bit of fun with the film, go check out our replacements, which will be up at uh, some point in the week where we replace all the characters from the films with other characters, which I think we nailed it out of the park this yep. week. I had a very fun time doing that. Uh, but yeah, I've been Matt. I've been Adele. And that was the five star movie review. Movie review. It's five lots of five stars, by the way. <laughs> 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 the